I eat little babies ice cream. It keeps me young. It keeps me light on my feet. I spring from activity to activity. I love my job. I love my life. That is a wonderfully creepy 2012 commercial for Philadelphia's Little Babies Ice Cream by video artist Doug Garth Williams. Hmm, it also provides the perfect opportunity to ponder the mysteries of the ice cream headache. And for the longest, it really has been a bit of a mystery. You've probably experienced this mind-seizing sensation before. You help yourself to a delicious spoonful of your favorite frozen treat, it touches your palate, and... Yowza! Near instantaneous headache. It can even happen with cold water, but a lump of ice cream, sorbet, or frozen yogurt is far more likely to stick to the roof of your mouth, driving home that brain-chilling freeze. Now here's the tidbit that baited researchers in for a closer look at brain freeze. People who suffer from migraines are far are more likely to experience an ice cream headache. Are the two connected? Well, in 2012, a team of scientists set out for answers. They studied brain freeze in the lab by monitoring blood flow in several brain arteries via transcranial Doppler, all while the human test subjects sipped ice water through a special straw pressed against their upper palate. Ha 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 ha! Foolish college students, no free ice cream for you. The researchers discovered that brain freeze seems to be triggered by a sudden increase in blood flow in the anterior cerebral artery and disappears when this artery constricts. Just a touch of chill and the anterior cerebral artery dilates rapidly, flooding the brain with warm blood and pain. Then the same vessel constricts and the pain goes away. So what's going on here? Do our brains just hate ice cream? According to study lead Jorge Cerador of Harvard Medical School, the brain is probably just protecting itself. After all, your three pounds of head cheese are very sensitive to temperature and we don't need it freezing. So Cerador theorizes that this sudden influx of warm blood is all about maintaining an optimal operating temperature for the brain. However, that sudden rush of blood to the closed structure of the skull also seems to raise pressure and induce pain. Luckily, the brain releases the pressure almost immediately. So I Ironically, the feeling we call brain freeze is just the body protecting the brain from freezing temperatures. The researchers hope to apply these findings to develop better treatments for migraines, post-traumatic headaches, and other types of brain pain. See, now don't you feel a bit like a jerk for setting up your brain's defenses with all of those scoops of frosty indulgence? And if you're a migraine sufferer, have you noticed this correlation with ice cream? Let us know in the comments below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.